Oh, hey, what's going on? What's up, functional bodybuilders? You got questions about the behind the neck press? Have you ever heard that this is bad for your shoulders, that you shouldn't be doing this exercise, that your shoulders aren't supposed to go into that position? Well, what have you ever seen about this right here? If I take this PVC pipe and I just started doing this, how would you feel about me doing that? Now that's the way I'm gonna approach talking about the behind the neck press. I think for some people who don't have the range of motion, that movement could be problematic. One of the best things about this exercise is that it is somewhat diagnostic about your shoulder health, mobility, and range of motion. I wouldn't necessarily start there with somebody. I would say, hey, grab a PVC pipe and reach up over your head so you're taking about a little outside of your shoulder width grip. And can you bring it down to your shoulders and press it back up without pain? And if you don't have that range of motion, maybe we would start a little bit wider and we would work on that range, bring our grip in, keep bringing our grip in until we have what looks like a pressing width grip. When we, when we approach mobility, one of the things that we do is we try and find passive range of motion, or in this case, essentially no weight or body weight range of motion. And then the next step would be to load that range of motion to get stronger at end range and to perhaps enhance your range of motion by using the weight to get you into deeper positions. So from that PVC pipe, I might move up to this 10 pound bar and I would do the same thing. I've achieved range of motion pain-free with the PVC and now I can do it with this. And then from there, we might load heavier and heavier and heavier and eventually you would be able to perform a behind the neck press with the barbell. And so, this, so the seated behind the neck press or the standing behind the neck press that shows up in functional bodybuilding programs is there for resistance training, strength training, and hypertrophy training for those people that have adequate range of motion to be able to tackle that movement. If you lack that range of motion, then you have two options when you see this show up in our programs. Number one, you could substitute a different type of press that feels a lot stronger and you have better range of motion. So instead of doing the behind the neck press, you could decide that you're gonna press in front of the neck for that strength training or hypertrophy superset that you're seeing in pump, perform, or pillars. But let's say you're really eager to develop that. Then if you see that movement show up in a superset where it says eight to 10 reps or six to eight reps for strength training, then I want you to simply approach it from a mobility standpoint and work on range of motion with the PVC pipe and with a light barbell. If you don't have a light barbell at your disposal, which maybe you do not, then if you take a broomstick and you have small fractional plates like this, you can put those small fractional plates onto your PVC pipe, a five pound plate, a 10 pound plate, and you can press just like that. And so there I've taken a, uh, you know, the, the body weight or the uh, PVC pipe, which weighs nothing, and I've added two and a half pounds to it. And then I could add two and a half pounds more and so forth. So if your goal is to develop range of motion, then using this exercise can be a great tool for that. If your goal when you approach your strength training is get stronger, work in the range of motion that I already have, I want to be, I want to build muscle, I want to really focus on hypertrophy, and I don't have that range right now, I don't have access to that movement, then go ahead and switch to a strict press or a dumbbell press or some other vertical press that feels a lot more confident and comfortable. Stick to the reps and tempo that is prescribed and you got a substitution. I hope that helps you understand why we use the behind the neck press, what it's good for, and eventually once you get that range and you can do that exercise, it is a great tool to develop great strength and hypertrophy from behind the neck and it can be done very safely. Good luck. If you got questions, drop them in the comments below. Talk to you soon.